Up at four nine. Four eight. Up at four eight. I can hear them too. We went to Kansas for a handful of different reasons. One, it was going to be a good practice run for King of Two Miles so we could see how we stacked up and how the guns were going to perform and how our system was going to perform, you know, shooting out to distances Money, that far. Same, same. Send same. You got six minutes, huh? Send same. Send same. Is that five? Bring it in a tenth if not. Point six. Yep. Money. All right, let's move. Honestly, it was just a great opportunity to go sling some lead really far away. The Kansas match represented for us a, a, a couple of things. Competition was going to be steep. There were a lot of really, really great shooters. The terrain was going to be wide open, long targets. We felt like the, the, the value of shooting this match, it gave us a chance to actually check our wind calling process and see where the, the bullets were at long range and be able to read wind over the, the open terrain. So it, it gave us a, a number of chances, a lot of chances to validate process, ammo, load process, guns, shooting process, uh, spotter shooter communications. All right, I'm up, 2-6. Send it. Ready, Jeff? Shooting out to two miles is a lot like climbing Everest. If you don't have everything just right, it'll kill you. Like, you get nothing for free. When you're out that far, every little detail matters. So that's part of the fun is you can't have just a really good gun and be a mediocre shooter. And even when you do have your process dialed in, it's still, you gotta put the best you have on the table 